All right, thank you to Panchu for asking me about a tutorial for ideogram.ai. This is what I use now instead of a graphic designer. Sorry, graphic designers, but that's true. This is really what I do. Or if it's something like, like super important, like a, like a book cover, then what I would do is I will use this tool before I work with a graphic designer because this tool helps me to visualize basically what I want. Um, and then the graphic, the, the human graphic designer, because this is an AI graphic, the human graphic designer can, can then <clears throat> uh, enhance it, you know, make it even better. But most of the time, I use this without any human graphic designer, and this costs me $8 a month. <laughs> it's way cheaper than any human graphic. Anyway, what does this do? This is the best speller for AI graphic design that there is on the market right now. Um, as you, we all know, if, if you use ChatGPT or other AI, or MidJourney or any other AI, gra AI, AI graphics creator, they're terrible at spelling. This one is way better. So this is how I create all of my course images. Um, so for example, uh, I'll show you literally right now. Let's say I'm creating a course image called, you know, the authentic embodiment course. Um, so this is literally what I do. Logo, colon, question mark, or not, no, quotation mark, authentic embodiment, authentic embodiment. Let's say my, my course title is authentic embodiment and I'll do, and then I'll just un end quote. Um, let me make this bigger here in smaller words. Um, Four week course with George Cow. Okay. Like that. That's the basic format. Okay, I'll show you more fancy additions to it later. And then I um I basically click on design. I don't have to, it kind of knows already, but this this makes it very clear that okay, I'm trying to create a graphic design here. Right. Give me one second here. All right, so then this is the basic format. Um, as you can see, I have the, the the major words. Okay, it can be more than two words, right? Authentic embodiment for coaches. It can be it can be m many words, or not many, but I would say probably I don't know. Uh, be be reasonable. <laughs> maybe maybe the bigger words are like you know five up to five or up to seven. That that's even a lot for bigger words. And then I put in smaller words. What and the smaller words can be more with George Cow, authentic business coach. Let's say okay. This doesn't, doesn't make sense what I'm doing, but um, authentic AI design. There we go. Okay. Um, and then I and then I click on magic prompt on because I want the AI, I want the AI to interpret what I just wrote and and use its own creativity to make it however it thinks it it, it should be based on its um, understanding of all the data for 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 stuff. Sorry, I'm. Uh, I have to cancel my focus mate session because I think this tutorial is going to go longer than my focus mate session. So goodbye, focus mate person. Sorry. Okay. So keep it on 2.0. That's obviously the, okay. We're okay. Um, if you don't pay for ideogram, I'm not sure you can use the latest model, but I find that they significantly upgrade their ability to spell with, with each model model upgrade. So try to go with the latest model, which means it's really worth, come on, $8 a month or even $20 a month for the pro plan. It's like any any graph human graphic design is going to charge you twenty dollars for the most basic design, right? So anyway, you can you can for eight dollars you can do dozens of designs for you know for that that price. Sixteen by nine. Okay, this is another important thing. Um, you can choose. Look at this. Look at how many aspect ratios you can do. You could do you could do you could do vertical things. You could do um, landscape things. Different different things. And you can also you can also you know use this dial to select. Um, how you want how you want it to look or or click on custom to choose your own pixels it's really really astonishing but 16 by 9 is very common for like social media posts so i'm going to i'm going to keep it at that and then i'm going to un unclick this arrow uh visibility public or private it's totally up to you oh i'm sorry i i i'm cheap so i only did $8 a month so i can't do private but it doesn't matter because it's okay if your thing is public i i've been using ideogram for months and it's it's fine that things are public some people if you do it publicly, some people will remix your image so that, and you can kind of, you'll be notified if they remix it because you can kind of see how they interpret the image and do it and it might give you ideas as well. So I prefer public. Color palette's really cool. You can decide what colors you want to have in the image, or you can select auto for letting the AI choose its own color palette. What else is down here? Rendering turbo default quality. I just always put on default, but quality, I guess if, if something is really important and you've tried several times, you wanted to think longer, then choose quality, it'll take you longer. 
um, seed number, just ignore these for now. Things to avoid, you could say, well, I don't want a, I don't want a human being in the image or whatever. You can, you can try that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, I don't want um, water in the image for whatever reason. So, so specific things you find it keeps doing, oh, I don't want clouds or whatever. Then you put it in there so that it knows not to try, it tries its best not to put those things in. With that, let's click generate and see what happens. Okay, it's, it's waiting in the fast queue. And while you're waiting, you can either, okay, while you're waiting, <laughs> uh, you can go, go to my uh, ideogram. So my images, let's see here. How do I give you my link? Uh, view profile. And the reason why I invite you to go to my ideograms is because you can see what my prompts are. Because I keep all my, most of my, almost all my images uh, public. Uh, George Cow, okay. And then you can click on liked. So George, you know, anyway, I'll give you this link. Ideogram.ai slash you slash George Cow slash like. These are my favorite images that I did. And when you go there, it can, it'll tell you what the prompt is that I use. This is literally the prompt that I typed in and submit it. And this is the magic prompt. This is what the AI interpreted as my prompt. This is what the AI actually used to create this image, for example, right? And you can, so you can see all, all the images that I actually liked. And when you look at my profile or any pro, anyone's profile, including your own, you'll notice that um, these are the ones I liked. So there's one like on it, but you'll notice that some of them have multiple likes. Let's see, this one has five likes. How did that happen? Because remember my images are public. If I click like on my image, it tends to surface it in the ideogram um, public feed. And ideogram right now is still small. Every single time I talk to people at ideogram, they've never heard of it. I'm, I'm astonished. I've been using ideogram for over a year. I'm like, this should be everywhere. Why isn't it? But most people don't have no clue about ideogram. So it's still a small community of like really AI design passionate creators. And so it's actually quite likely that when you like some your own image, your thing shows up pretty pretty highly on the ideogram feed. And other people who like your image will literally like it. So you can see just out of your own head what is more likable by people. So this one got eight likes. I thought this was better in my opinion, but apparently based on the public opinion, this is the best one. And this is also quite good. Um, and anyway, so that's why it's useful to like, keep it public, like your the images you actually like and see um, what, what the public likes better, okay? All right, anyway, the reason why I ask you to look at my profile is because you can see uh, what, what prompts I use. So you can see, I basically using my, my typical, um, my typical uh, format, but I also put in words. I put in words in front of logo, holistic and fun, for example, or, um, Playful yet professional, um, or this one simply it was ethereal. You know, I use I use that word ethereal a lot for for all my images actually. So now you know my my secret sauce. Now you can now you can uh, make my images no longer interesting because you're going to use that too, right? Um, but or like uh, natural and ethereal. So natural sometimes a word I use as well. That's all I have to tell you. <laughs> That's it. I mean, you can also click upscale to make the image sharper looking. Upscale is basically Take the same image. So for example, let me click to show you. Take the same image and make the image resemblance 100%. So image resemblance is basically like, uh, how much do you want us to output an image that looks exactly like this or only, only barely similar to this, okay? And detail, how much, how much do you want the details to be sharp versus more, more um, not sharp is not necessarily not good, but more, more smooth. Do you want it smoother or do you want it more like sharp? Okay. And so let's, let's give it a try. Okay. I want it super detailed, like super sharp. Um, you can ignore seed number. I haven't been using that, but you can, those of you who are AI image generators should know what seed number means. I'm going to click upscale. Okay. And it's waiting because um, I don't know why it's waiting. It's waiting in the fast queue. What's going on here. Okay. Right now it's basically, I think, I think, um, I don't know why it's waiting. Oh, there we go. 33% completed. I think upscale takes more resources maybe. So that's why it takes longer. But look at this. Look at this. Authentic AI design for coaches. Four-week courts with your... That's really small font. <laughs> um, that's really small font. Um, but that's, that's, that's not bad, right? And you, of course, you can also you always take this into Canva and, um, and, and, and just zoom in. Like, for example, I don't want all this white space. I would just want, I would just want the word. So you can zoom in on... Take, you know, download this by clicking the three dots. 
and then click down, you know, download and you could do PNG, 100% quality or JPEG, 70%. I would usually do 100% quality, but you need to upgrade to a paid plan for, for the 100% quality. And I would put it into Canva and then I would um, basically enlarge it in Canva so that I get rid of all the white space, right? Um, it's not bad, right? None, 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 none of these are terrible, uh, better than I could have done as a Canva designer myself. But you can, of course, keep doing this. Keep rolling the dice, right? Keep rolling the dice. So I, I'm going to go to this prompt. I'm going to click. Um, I'm going to click remix, remix. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Remix. And when it remixes, it's using the AI magic prompt. So I'm if I'm going to instead use my own prompt. Click copy. Go here. And oh, it's it, when I clicked on remix, it brought in my original image that I clicked on remix for, and and how much do I want the image to look similar? So I'm going to get rid of this original image. I don't want it. And I'm going to get rid of this text. I'm going to paste in what I copied from here so that it's this. And now I'm going to add in the word um, ethereal. Like I said, I like, I like ethereal as a descriptor. And then uh, everything's the same. Click generate. And let's see what it does. And you can, so look at this. This is, this is upscale. This is sharper and uh, larger than, than, the, than, the, than the original image. See, this is a little fuzzier if you can't tell, but this is sharper. And it's upscaled, and now I can still download the upscaled image uh, and, and and use it wherever. Um, let's go back and see what the uh, ethereal. <laughs> I don't know how this is ethereal. I guess more spiritual imagery or whatever. Um, so <laughs> apparently, this is what George Cow authentic business coach looks like. And uh, ethereal. I <laughs> put the ethereal in there. That's kind of dumb. Uh, so it's not always totally smart. I think I think here's a, here's what I've noticed. The more words I put in, the more resources it takes from the AI, and it starts to get more creative or sometimes dumb. So you could just keep rolling the dice. As you can tell, I've only done two dice, two rolls of the dice, and it's already given me very different ideas, right? This this could even work, right? And uh, like I said, I could either just I often just use this as my course cover image, or I could take it to a human designer and say, hey, these are my favorite designs. Can you come up with something similar? And by the way, human designer, here's the, here's ideogram, here's my prompt. If you want to like play with ideogram, it's up to you, but bring me something that I, that's similar. There's the notifications on the right-hand side, upper right. Oh, thank you, Mike, <laughs> for liking the ones that, that you liked. And uh, that further, if anyone likes things, it further uh, ups it in the, in, in the public feed, which if you click on the ideogram logo on the top left, left, it gives you the public feed and it shows you, see, the public feed, most of them have only one like. Most of them have only one like or, or two likes. That's why when you do, when you like your own, it, it puts it up on the, on the feed quite highly for people to vote on it. Right. And you can, you can vote, you can vote on the thing. The thing is careful about voting on things yourself, because if you vote on things and you go to your profile and you go to like, it's going to, it's going to contain the other things you voted on, the other things you clicked on liked as well. I really wish they had folders. Right. But as far as I know, they don't have folders. Maybe maybe they will. It looks like upcoming changes. They might have folders in the future, which makes it more um, easy to organize the the images that you actually created yourself that you liked versus the images you like from other people uh, mixed into all this. So anyway, um, I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or as you start playing with it, any tips for others using Ideogram and um, enjoy. Thing. And one more thing I forgot to say, the magic prompts that you look at um, will teach you uh, what words you might want to use, right? Like I said, if I when I clicked on this, I only used Ethereal, but if I click look at the magic prompt, <clears throat> the text is written cursive font placed on a gradient background, transitions from light purple to light blue. There are small glowing stars. Like you, you, you know, you can learn, you can take a note, take notes of these. Maybe you have your own like Google document where you start taking notes of words that you like or phrases that, that are, that you might want to use in your future image prompts, right? You can also, of course, look at other people's images and look at their prompts. So for example, let's say that I liked, um, let's say that I like this one, having a tree with hearts or whatever. I can look at what prompt they use and then what prompt that actually the AI used. Remember, wherever it says magic prompt, it's what the AI actually end up using because they interpret the, the user's prompt into the magic prompt and they use the magic prompt to actually create the image. So you can learn from whatever, whatever here. 
Now, if you say, well, George, what if I don't want the AI to use my, I don't, I want the AI to use my exact prompt. Then you click off, click off on, on the magic prompt. And then whatever you type in here is literally what the AI will use. Uh, auto means, all right, AI, you could just tell me if, if you think there needs to be interpretation, you go ahead and interpret it as auto. So on and off um, is you, you get, let's see what, <laughs> let's see what AI, how AI interprets uh, gobbledygook words. I'm really interested to, to, to see it. But um, I see that there's also pinned, pinned images. I realize, um, I guess is when people come to your profile, you want them to see that most, most publicly. I haven't really used pinned images myself, but generation complete. This is how AI, <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Elephant, basically. Or or elephant, elephantine car, jeep, uh, in the safari. Okay, all right, that's enough. Uh, thank you all for for watching this. I hope this is helpful, and I look forward to seeing your comments and experimentations below. Thanks.